this, Reverend that, Romney being a fall guy, comes out today that a literary booklet, a promotional book, booklet put out in 1991 by Obama's then literary agent, said that Barack Obama was born in Kenya. That's right. Now, it hit the, uh, the sites today. It's all over the sites. Exclusive. Obama's literary agent in 1991 booklet said that he was born in Kenya and raised in Indonesia and Hawaii. This came out on Breitbart.com. And it says Andrew was never a birther, and Breitbart News is a site that has never advocated the narrative of birthism, blah, blah, blah. Nevertheless, the literary publication, the promotional brochure by the agent in 1991 before Obama was a senator, before he was known by anybody, his agent clearly said, and here it is, printed in blue, Barack Obama, the first African-American president of the Harvard Law Review. Of course, we don't know how he got that position either. Did they just give it to him because he was the first African-American that they needed to give it to, or did he earn it? Was he particularly brilliant? Did he write some legal uh, analysis that would have led Harvard Law Review? I would think the same fools who gave the Harvard Law Review to ha Barack Obama based upon his race also gave the Harvard Law Review to Miss Kagan, another brilliant scholar, Another genius that's on the Supreme Court, obviously because of her brilliance, her legal brilliance. So now it turns out the booklet was distributed to business colleagues in 1991. I didn't write it. His agent wrote it. So if you're a diehard liberal and you're listening to the show and you hear today that a literary agent in 1991 printed a brochure about his clients and he boasted that, quote, Barack Obama is the first African-American president of the Harvard Law Review, was born in Kenya and raised in Indonesia and Hawaii, does this give you pause? Are you now questioning whether or not he's an American citizen? Are you now questioning whether or not he was a natu he is a natural born American qualified to be a president? Does this bother you at all or you not do not even care? Should we just throw out that constitutional requirement that a, an individual be natural born citizen a natural born citizen to be a president? Should we throw that away? Because that's where the left is going to go now. Nah, who cares? What do I care? He's a great guy. Therefore, whatever he did is fine. I don't care if he works for the communists themselves. You know what I mean? He can work for the communist government of Russia, China. I don't care. He's a great guy. And that's all that matters. Screw those right-wing Republicans. That's what you're going to hear from them. Okay, so that's the story. What do you think about it? What do you think about the fact that his literary agency confirming that the uh, president of the United States in 1991 they said was born in Kenya. Does it matter to you? Are you now questioning whether Obama was born in America? Are you impressed with the fact that I, Michael Savage, was the only media figure to tell you Romney was being run by the McCain team and being run off the rails and the Republicans want to lose the election? Are you shocked to have confirmation today that Romney is a fall guy who will not win, which is why Obama twice slipped, once with Medvedev when he said, when I'm reelected, remember that? Why was he so cocksure he'd be reelected? Because he's been told he's going to be reelected. Because Romney is not only the Manchurian candidate, what you're about to hear you'll never forget. Romney is the Manchurian uncandidate. Romney is the Manchurian non-candidate. Sometimes I think Romney was simply brainwashed, not with the Queen of Diamonds, but with the uh, Ace of Clubs. And let me tell you something else. I have no reason to doubt my suspicions about Romney. None whatsoever. The man was brainwashed like in the Manchurian nun candidate. I'll be right back. Savage. Having a campaign focused on, on character assassination is, uh, is one of the things I find offensive, among many others, in the... End uh, of story. The goodbye. Goodbye. This is a day after the Obama slime machine called Romney a vampire. A day after the, the, the Obama slimers called Romney a vampire, which they got directly from Fatso, Newt Gingrich. The Obama campaign is making great hay right now with everything that uh, Fatso threw it. Uh, Romney, everything that Fatso dug up on Romney, everything Fatso tried to puncture Romney with is now being used by the Obama campaign. Newt Gingrich should be run out of America for what he did. But nevertheless, you'd expect that a, a man who's attacked with such slime being called a vampire uh, <clears throat> by the Obama slimers would fight back by talking about Reverend Wright, by talking now about the booklet which states he was born in Kenya. But no, he says, no, I'm too good for that. 
Once again, we have another white glove. We have another white glove, middle of the road Republican who is going to lose. And the reason he will lose is because he will not attract the independent. Now, is this definitively guaranteed? I hope not. I hope not. I'm really trying to wake up one of the Romney boys if they're not also a one of the Manchurian nun candidates themselves, or maybe they were also put into a cauldron and brainwashed. If they don't tell daddy to get out from behind the advisors who have run him off the rails, he's going to lose. So Romney Jr., all the Romney Juniors and all of the other Romney children, all of you, and Romney, one of you is listening. I know that. Your father, your husband is being misled by the very same people who took McCain's advantages, and he was way ahead in the polls, and destroyed McCain by telling McCain to play the same game your husband Romney, your father Romney, is playing right now. I hope you hear me. And I'm not Sean Hannity. This is Michael Savage, and uh, I approve of my monologue.